And listen to this. Those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the sinful nature with his passions and its desires. Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking, and envying one another. This inheritance that Jesus lived by, that says, Paul says, we are co-heirs with Christ, that we get to inherit everything that Christ had was these words right here, Galatians 5, 22, and 23. We get to inherit those. those. Those are things that can dwell within us. In this new life in Christ and living with the Spirit of God, living inside of us, we get everything that the Spirit has to offer, which is love, joy, peace, patience, gentleness. I think, I think these are some of the things that we overlook from our inheritance. We think that it's been, it's been something Christians have kind of had a problem with recently is, is gentleness, pushing our agendas and our views so forcefully instead of being quick to listen and slow to speak. But gentleness says, I want to know you, and, and there's capacity for what you have to say. It's living by the fruit of the Spirit residing within us. We get to inherit all of that. And this is what God has for you. This is what the Lord has for you. All of those things, everything he has, he, he offers them. And, and our obligation is just to say, yes, God, I want to live by the fruit of the Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit is actually what it looks like when somebody is filled with the Spirit. It's, it's the overflow of what a heart and a life looks like that's filled with God. And that's something that you can take out anywhere. It doesn't just happen in the, in the four walls of the church. I think the church could use more fruit of the Spirit. <laughs> I think we could live gentler with, with one another and have more patience with one another and have more love for one another. But it doesn't just happen in the four walls of the church. It happens everywhere that we go. When we live in the presence of God, because the presence of God lives inside of us, everywhere we go, the fruit of the Spirit is pouring out. And we start to see, we start to see the, the resemblance of, wow, I've had a lot of patience with this person at my, at my work. And I can see God moving here now. But it's only through living through the fruit of the Spirit. Because if you try to do this on your own, you will get frustrated. The opposite thing of patience is frustration. And so if you're frustrated with something, one idea is to invite, God, I want to live more by the fruit of the Spirit. I want, I want patience to live inside of my heart. Would you use me to be a beacon of patience, a beacon of hope, a beacon of peace to people? 